And this thing is a death trap. Yeah. Ow! Now we're up a crit without a paddle. Progress is slow right now. Michael's working on the steering, kind of, and then I, I'm working on this right now. Two pillow block bearings with our shaft, and then we have this gear, and then we'll run that gear down to this gear, which then we'll put a gear here, which we'll run back to here. The drilling holes for the motor. That's what we're doing. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you don't know how to use that thing. Who taught me? Me. So it looks kind of dumb right now, but it should look better. Why are you yelling? Because I got earmuffs on. Oh. Oh. All right. So we're going to slap that bad boy on and hopefully it works. Yeah. 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 Oh. Woo. Ow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's called the. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Go the other way. There you go. Okay. So we mounted the engine. We got Josh Man on the welder. Yeah. And uh, Michael with throttle. Yep. I have I have throttle cable. See if we're gonna install it or not. Anyways. I doubt it. So we kind of steering on. Yeah, we were welding the steering on. It, it's going pretty good. It's, it's on upside down, but that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Ow. That, that looks good. That should work. Does it steer easy? Yeah, it, it steals, steers pretty great. At least mine had gears and it would slow itself down. This thing is a death trap. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna put it back on. You have to cut that off right there? Yes. It was kind of a plan. Oh. This battery's dead too. Now we're up a crit without a paddle. Bend it. Bend it. Perfect. There. That'll no, work. It'll work. Should work. It moves. Not very fast, but it moves. You turn too sharp. Oh, your well, your well boot back here, or whatever yeah. this is. Oh yeah. I think something's breaking. Hopefully not, but I think something's breaking. Surprised no welds broke there. Ain't no way he makes it up this hill. It's gonna pull really. Oh no! That's impressive. He made it up that hill. He pulled a good wheelie too. Yeah, well, it works. It runs and it, it moves pretty good. Just little things need tweak and stuff. So, so what we I'm gonna do um, is this chain back here. Oh, this chain back here is very loose, and it kept on popping off. So what I think I'm gonna do is. Um, right here these holes right here I'm gonna drill them a little longer so then I can slide the back axle back and pull the tight chain tighter okay so what we're doing is we're gonna weld this back up because over here it broke see it broke there 
we're gonna weld some stuff up over here. That doesn't look good. It looks a little bent. So I might need to get a new axle soon. I'm gonna weld this piece of metal in there because that holds it flat and then the tire doesn't hit. See? It hits kind of, but not bad. Weld that up and then it, it'll be good to drive around. I might need to get a new back axle. Alright, finished welding it up, welded this on, so that's pretty sturdy, put this back on, so, yeah, put that on, got a new belt, so it should be able to go faster, now we're going to spray paint it. What are you doing? Painting it. What? Camoing it. Making it look nice. All right, I'm done. Looks good, Michael. It smells bad. The oh, I put black paint on my GoPro. I think it looks good. I like that camo look. I really do. There's a situation right there. It's too scary. Too scary? Way too scary. You need, you need a well better. No. It's because of this. The axle bend. Yeah, why'd the axle bend? Because I built my own axle. Uh. Okay. We're gonna have to buy a new back axle because this one is bent. My brother warned me that it would probably bend. I should have listened to him. So I went and bought a new axle. Four foot, we're gonna use the whole four, four foot length. You know what? That won't fit out my door. We'll figure something out. Because it can almost fit out my door. I was really, really upset because I didn't have any tires to put on these. And I found some one inch bore tires. So I'm pretty excited for that because now all I have to do is weld them on. Oh, another thing is I went to a hardware store, very helpful dude helped me out. And I got a 20 tooth. So should be able to go super fast. But he said it should go at least 50. Hopefully he did his math right. I don't know. I'm not smart, so I'm gonna start building this thing because that's all I know how to do is build things and mess things up and then build things again and so. Yeet. Okay, friends, we're out in the field on the lawnmower. Okay, I put everything together. You guys didn't really wanna see me put it together because it's boring. I put these tires on that were on the last mower but I put new rims on it so they could fit this one inch bore pipe or whatever you want to call it. All right, so now we got a little bit bigger tires and then you know the gear system. I was test driving it and it was driving, it was going. I mean, it was hauling, I mean, hauling. how fast it is so I'm joking it's not fast enough we're gonna have to put some different gears on it I don't know it was like going 25 miles an hour and I'm like what is this this is junk
I'm basically done with the lawnmower. Not the lawnmower anymore. Basically the goat cart. I, I, uh, I was kind of bummed out when, when I only hit 25. So what I want to do to it is put fenders on it, get a hood for it, and then put disc brakes on it. Because it's scary without brakes. I'm going to put some springs on the seat. So you boing, boing. I fixed... It used to hit up here. If you turn too far, it would hit your uh, drive pulley. So I fixed that. It can do burnouts really well. If you get... If you hold it back and just start getting them tires spinning, it won't stop spinning. Anyways, there is basically the review on the thing. So, subscribe. We need more money. Subscribe. We need more money. All right, bye.